Double Quester is on. Our Double Quester flew underneath you to this almighty book. The Vanderbakers of 144th Street by Karina Yan Glaser. This book is about a normal family in New York, Harlem, living in a rather special brownstone with with three heartwarming pets. They are, to their neighbors and their friends, known as the Vanderbeekers. And the members are Papa and Mama and the five Vanderbeeker kids. From the oldest, I'll say, Issa and Jessie, twin sisters, but kind of different in my opinion. Then it's Oliver, the only boy, the only boy, boy Vanderbeeker kid. And the other two girl Vanderbeeker kids, the two youngest, Hyacinth and Lenny. And all of all of the five, never mind their age, are working are working together trying to stop trying to save their home. Well not literally from like Ako apocalyptic destroying um apocalyptic destroying villain thing. Not like that but saving from them being having to move. And this is the story. You see, they have a landlord that the name Mr. Biderman. They call the Biderman because I don't know why, but personally, I think it sounds more ominous. And um, yeah, M Mr. Biderman decides that they can t he, he can't take all their noise or something like that. And he decides to kick them out of their home. And they are going to have to move right after Christmas. I mean, that is just dumb. And they, 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 they make Operation Baderman. An operation for them to be nice to Baderman. So that the, ba so that the Baderman might want them to stay. Their their first um idea mission was a complete failure. It was about it was about it was Oliver's idea, and it was for Jesse and Lenny to deliver a bed in break the a breakfast in bed for the Biderman. They had thought they had truly believed that if the Biderman had taken a bite out of out of the local baker's delicious pastries. It, she would instantly say that they would stay here forever. But the thing was, here's how it got wrong. Lainey, the youngest Vanderbeek, literally attacked the door. She was knocking it, but this is more like attacking. She was like, knock, 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 knock. She, she ca calling the Baderman, Beezerman, she began pounding the door. And... Jesse tried to stop her, but then, but then the whole tray that she was holding, the tray that held the bed and breakfast for the Biderman, fell to the ground and was ruined. And Je Jesse, saying fudge, carried Lainey and barreled back down to the Vanderbeek's apartment. It all went wrong, indeed. And and the other other Vanderbeekers went up to clean up, and that was the failure of the first mission. The second mission was them was for them to to make a lot of people, neighbors, friends, and pa passerbys, to write their sign their names on a petition that that may be thinking that maybe if the Baderman saw how many uh, of the, of the New York Cities, New York Harlem citizens loved them. Maybe he would let us say, but that went wrong. You see, well, one one of their friends found out the Baderman's telephone number, and now that's a, that's a big trouble because and and so their friend passed the Baderman's phone number all around to the petition petition signers, and the Baderman had been getting. Hundreds of phone calls from other residents to make him renew their lease, which so that they could stay. 
And now the Vader man was so mad, and this came into Papa's attention. And the kids were punished, and you know, another complete Operation Baderman ruin. And then on Christmas Eve, they were having a party on Miss Josie and Mr. Jeet's apartment that was on, on the floor above theirs. And they were having real good fun. But then the Baderman starts, started pounding on the ceiling for them to make them do quiet. And Issa, literally Issa, uh, the, the twin Vanderbeeker was Jesse, was her straight streak ponytail, and her her violin. She stomped up to the to the Vanderman's floor, and she 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 played less furious, saying that she was a really mean, grouchy person. And less furies, as you can imagine, is a rather angry song. And Issa, as as Mr. Van Houten, her violin teacher said, who was there, she had never played that song better before. And then she played another song after Less Furious, a rather peaceful song, that seemed to allow her to open her heart again to the world. And the Bader man says she was sorry, and then she slammed the door in her face. And on Christmas morning, a miracle was made. The Bader man said that they could stay. It is the Bader man wanting to get rid of them was because, because his fam, his wife, and her, and his daughter Luciana died, and and Issa had the same violin as Luciana. Louis, Luciana had used the same violin as Issa. The violin she had not bought, but borrowed from Mr. Van Houten. And Luciana, too, had borrowed it from Va Mr. Van Houten. And one day, when Issa played the Luciana's favorite song outside the steps, uh, for Mr. Vaderman, it was too much to bear. So he wanted to kick them out. But, but, now... Now it is okay, it is all okay, and Mr. Vaderman ended up at their, well, breakfast table. And the book ends with the epilogue of, of Benny and Issa going to the 8th grade dance. After all the hardship and wrongings done accidentally and rather unwillingly by what both Benny Jesse and Is Issa was thinking. And that's a complicated matter that you can specify if you read the book. And like always, your bookquester, I'm in the bookquester.